Back again here, this time we've got a whole bunch of stuff to show you guys that I picked up at the Chicago Sports Spectacular this past weekend. It was at the Rosemont Convention Center, the Donald Lee Stevens Convention Center. This is where they have the national pretty much every other year uh, on a regular schedule. They had it this past year. There was the biggest national ever. That was in August. And it's the same place, but a different room. So it's a little smaller room. And actually, it's probably about a fourth of the size of the actual national. So in this show, I tried to find as much as I could, you know, try to really dig deep in boxes and walk around and see everyone. You know, it's a smaller show, even though it's pretty big. So you have more time to spend at each individual dealer. You know, it wasn't a huge turnout. I would say it was probably about average maybe a little more better than average i think people were spending money but i think the attendance wasn't wasn't like enormous you know it was probably just a little better than the average attendance so let's go ahead and get started here i'll show you guys what i got so first off we picked up a 1912 this is one of the triple folders i don't have any of these i thought i should pick one up also got a another t206 here really nice shape on this one nice color these are just beautiful cards. Cards you don't really see too often. This is 1910, 1911, Sporting Life. And these backs are really cool. I think those are really cool backs. Those are better looking than the T206, in my opinion. So I don't have any of those either. And then we got, I think these are 1933 Sport Kings. And they're just a bunch of different sports. If you guys have ne never seen these, all sports. And they're pretty tough to find these really in halfway decent shape. Pretty nice shape there. So these were, I think I ended up paying about 150 for all of those there with a few other cards. This was two bucks. I tried to find a bunch of like $1 and $2 stuff. 69 tops, John Havlicek rookie. So this was half off and I actually got it for probably less because I bulked a whole bunch of stuff together from the same dealer. So I paid less than 50, probably like 45 on that one. Really tough card to find, really. I mean, that was it's in pretty nice shape. I thought that was a really good price on that. Next, we got some vintage stuff here. We're going to write to some of these guys through the mail, um, like Joe Schmidt. I'll get that. That is his rookie. I'll send that off with some money for him. And then we'll go through some a bunch of the autographs that I bought. We got some Lenny Moores there. I always like to get to get out to him and send him five bucks per card. Jim Cat's been signing, ten bucks a per per, and that's a high number. This was five dollars. I think it's about a twenty-five dollar card. Sonny Jurgensen's been signing, so that's five dollars for Sonny. And uh, Stan Makita, I just thought that was a really cool card. That was five bucks. These traded card. This. Traded Denny McLean, that's a high number, probably a $25 card, that was five. And these are probably 25 a piece as well, those are five. Um, Mazeroski's been signing for 10 each, so I'm gonna write to get him to sign those. And Frank Ryan's a good signer through the mail. <clears throat> Some more Hall of Fame rookies, Harry Carson signs. Archie Manning's kinda hit or miss, but I'll send that out to him. Andre Dawson charges five or ten dollars, I believe, and we got some more vintage cards there. Lou Gehrig, 1961 scoops. You know, I was just trying to find cheap stuff, stuff that I can either flip at shows or send in a Com C. Uh, Joe Schmidt, we'll get him out with that other one. Send him five bucks a card. These post cards are really cool looking, I think, and those were all two dollars a piece with the orange. And I'm going to have some footage from this show. I'll show you guys. I'm just walking around a little bit. i got to edit that together, but I'll show some footage. There's a Frank Ryan, really nice-looking card there. So we'll get that out to him. These are 64 high numbers. I don't think any... I don't... Joe Horner's deceased, but I don't think Steve Hurst's signs are as alive. John Sullivan signs... So these are the high numbers. Those were two a dollar a piece, I believe. And those are probably worth about ten a piece. So we'll get those some of those off to Com C. This Richie Ashburn card, it looks like every other postcard. This is a short print. 
and I knew that. So I think it was two bucks. I think the pink ones were two. I actually think the orange ones are one and the pink ones were two. So I think this is about a 30 to $40 card on Com C. I think the only one up there was around 40 or 50. Um, some more high numbers, these high numbers. So if they were, they were five each, they're probably worth 25 to 30 on Com C. These are also high numbers. These are 1961 tops. They're probably around 20 a piece on Com C. So we're looking to build up some credit on Com C, looking to buy other things, find deals. So we'll get stuff sent off to Com C and, you know, we'll, we'll, those will definitely sell on there. I'll definitely get some good money out of those, good credit, and we'll use them. Just some more vintage. This is more kind of through the mail stuff. Some of it is going to be $2, but I picked up just some kind of random stuff for through the mail. Another Joe Schmidt. We'll get that off to him. Five bucks per I like to send to him. Bunch of autographs here. I'll show those in a bit. I just want to get through. I mostly purchased autographs here. That's what I spent most of my money on. Got another Archie Manning. So these cards, 71, 72 tops, are really pretty difficult to find. And they're difficult to find in any kind of decent shape. And these were decent, I thought. And this was $5, so it was half off. Um, 1951 tops felt back, that was $5. Those are almost impossible to find at a show. You know, you got to be at a larger show to find those. They're a tiny, tiny card, as you can see. If you compare them, you might not know what they are, but they're, I think they're 51 tops. They're felt backs, but the Joe Paterno in this is worth a few thousand dollars. I don't know what this is worth. It's probably, it's Emil Sitko, who was a good player. He might be in the Hall of Fame. So, you know, I'm not sure. I'll have to look that one up. I would guess 30 to 40 on that one. These cards, 1970. Two tops, high number, tops football. The high numbers are highly sought after on these, especially these all pros. So these were from the same dealer that I bought the Havlicek. These were all half off. So Ted Hendricks, Bob Lilly, Bob Greasy. I'm not going to send that to him. I'll probably put that on Com C, but they're in pretty nice shape. These two I'll get out to get signed. I think this Bob Lilly is going to look awesome autographed. And he charges five per, so we'll get that one off to him. All right, so let's start going through. Well, I got some more vintage here, actually. Some stuff for autographs. These are batter ups. I'm trying to think of what year these are. I think they're early 30s, maybe 33. But these were $5 a piece. You know, they're rough, obviously, but for $5, I think, and this one's not bad, actually, but I'll have to check out comparables on Com C, but I think I'll do quite well on those. Billy Herman, that was 25 I don't think this is rookie, but it might be considered a rookie. 33 Goody. Really a neat-looking card. And Al Shane Deese, it's rough, but it was $5. Some more of these. I think these are really neat cards. I don't actually own any of these. And that, like I said, they're really nice shape. You know, the backs are pretty clean. And the corners and the edges, considering they're the black borders, they're really nice shape. So those were half off, 20 bucks on that, 20 bucks on that. I gotta believe they're worth, you know, and this one was half of that. So I gotta believe they're worth a good amount. This was $5 for old Campbell rookie. Can't go wrong with that. Let's see if I have any more vintage in here before we start looking at autographs. There's some more here. This is a neat card. This is a Burke Ross. 
I think 47. This is a Jesse Owens, and this was five dollars. So that you know, some of these dealers are just looking to, to li not liquidate, but flip stuff. You know, they're buying collections, and they the guy didn't have this price, and I picked out these. You know, along with the other ones, and he's just like, well, five dollars each. I think this Monte Irvin, it's rough, but it's a the top of an ice cream cup, so it's probably a thirty, forty dollar card on Com C. Same with this, and I often compare, look at comparables for these, but you know they're probably ten to fifteen a piece. I'll I'll take that credit. More of those. I always like that card, Hoyt Wilhelm, 1953 tops. And then we got some more. These were all a buck a piece, and some of these guys sign. You know, I was trying to find guys that a couple of them might sign so I can get multi signed. It's hard to find where there's probably very few where all three of them signed. That might be one. I'm not sure about Joe Hassett, but that could be one there. All right, all right. So some more vintage stuff here. So some more tiny cards here. These are the 48 Tops Magic. These were $5 a piece. That was a great deal, I thought, because I actually can see who the player is and you can see on the back for the most part. A lot of times when you see these cards, they're totally faded. So this one is pretty faded, but you can still see it. And the back is nice. So if you can find these that are football related or even wrestling, you know, for $5 a piece, I got to believe these are worth at least $25 a piece. I, Johnny Lujak was Heisman Trophy. We got an Army versus Notre Dame card here. Columbia versus Navy. Bill Fisher played in the NFL, and then we've got, hmm, let's see who that is. Kenny Keltner, Ken Keltner, so he was a good player. That's baseball there, so five bucks a piece. You hardly see those, even at a big show. They're really tough to find. Here's another one, Barney Poole. And then I tried to get, there's a Jerry Kramer rookie. And these were all, you know, cards that were a buck or two a piece. Like I said, I was trying to find a lot of vintage stuff, signed and unsigned that I could flip or just even just have in my personal collection. I'm fine with any of that kind of stuff. You know, Pete Rose for a buck. All right, see if you guys are ready to see some autographs here. Try to get through the vintage here. So let's start with some autographs and then we'll just do a couple minutes of autographs and then we'll have another video where we're doing a whole bunch of them. So I, that was mostly, um, that was mostly a lot of the better vintage right there. I'm sure I have some more. I have another whole pile over here that I need to get to. So let's start with some autographs here. So I'm going to try to tell you guys what I paid for these. These were all two bucks a piece. I'll just flip through them. I'm just Ray Fossey's deceased. Looking for more vintage stuff. If I'm looking for two dollar cards, you know, like I know Tommy Helm signs, but 69 tops, you know, I'm just going to buy for two bucks. So all of these were two bucks a piece. So some pretty decent names, some vintage stuff here. So that was four, that was four. Everything got a little bit mixed up here. Here's some better guys here. We got a Juan Marichal, that was 10. Another one that was 10. Herschel Walker for 10 and Eric Dickerson has been signing so I'm going to get that sent out to him. Bobby Hall, someone a dealer had had a private signing with Bobby Hall, had a whole bunch of Bobby Halls. 
he had stuff that was certified by Beckett and PSA, and then he had random loose ones. And these were five dollars, and I pretty much bought all of his Bobby Hulls for five bucks. Kind of crazy, you know. I'm I'm just gonna buy them. One of the greats. There's one there. Another one. Another one. He had Arn Anderson. He must have had a private sign. He had very few, like, he had a lot of the same guys. So the, he clearly did private signings with, like, Arn Anderson. So I got, I think I bought all of his Arn Andersons for five each. Bobby Hall. More Bobby Hall. Let's see. Bill Madlock. So these were all from the same dealer. Bobby Hall there. Dan Hampton and another Bobby Hall. So we'll cut this video off here now, guys. And I got a whole, whole bunch of stuff to show. I said I spent quite a bit of time looking and trying to find the best possible deals and not really being concerned about how much I was spending. I went to buy and I bought. I bought quite a bit. So have quite of a quite of a lot to show you guys. We'll probably have to do three videos here. I don't know how much time I have, so check out the next one, part one, just now. Stay tuned for the next one. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.